Important events Mahmud Ghaznavi, 977 to Important events Mahmud Ghaznavi, 977 to 1030. Mahmud Ghaznavi was the Muslim ruler of Ghazni who gained fame by raiding India on 17 times from 1000 to 1027 AD. On each occasion he defeated Hindu kings and returned to Ghazni with enormous wealth. He is the person who bring Islam in subcontinent by capturing the Somnath. Sheikh Ahmed Surindi, R.A. Sheikh Ahmed Surindi was a Muslim saint and scholar who flourished during the reigns of Akbar and Jahangir. He differed with atheistic view of Sheikh Mubarak and his sons Faizi and Abul Fazl. Jahangir imprisoned him for his religious activities but released him shortly afterwards. Sheikh Ahmed Surindi propounded the doctrine of Wadad al Shahud, which successfully countered the Bhakti philosophy of Wadad al Wujud. www.thilpapers.brahim Lodi, 1517 26. Ibrahim Lodi was the last Lodi Sultan of Delhi. He was defeated by Babur in the First Battle of Panipat in 1526. Mughal Empire After defeating the Ibrahim Lodi the Mughal Empire had been came in existence by Zahir Uldin Babur I. Zahir Uldin Babur II. Humayun III. Akbar IV. Jahangir V. Shah Jahan VI. Aurangzeb Alamjur 7. Badr Shah Zafar Downfall of Muslim Rule, Causes, 1. Ignorance of Religious Beliefs 2. Lack of Solidarity 3. Centralization of Mughal Administration 4. No Law of Succession 5. Weakness of Character 6. Educational Decline 7. Military Weakness 8. No Naval Force W. Establishment of British rule The British East India Company was struggling for gaining ground to establish itself permanently on the subcontinent since 1600 AD. The other European colonialist powers had lost their will to keep themselves in row with the English because of their superiority on seas. Lord Clive established English influence on sound footing and returned to England in 1787 when no rival European power was left on the scene, the English took advantage of the unsettled conditions of India and consolidated themselves politically. They Clevely played one local ruler against the other and conquered India with the might of India. They demonstrated a great diplomacy skill and employed improved arms with a better knowledge of warfare. The Indian rulers at last fell a victim to their own entanglement. They were either forced to accept the authority of East India Company or to be completely wiped off. This process of expansion of the British occupation OD India continued in one form or the other. Kingdom after kingdom fell and then English finally pushed themselves ahead to succeed the Mughals. Jihad movement Jihad movement was started by Syed Ahmed Barilvi and his companions in the first half of the 19th century. This movement aimed at taking back control of India from the British and the Sikhs. Jihad movement met some success in its early stage when the Mujahideen defeated Sikh army and captured Peshawar. Two nation theory separate religion, language, architecture, culture, and way of life. This theory formed the basis of the Pakistan movement which finally led to the creation of Pakistan in 1947. Alama Iqbal and Quaid e Azam were the greatest exponents of two-nation theory. In the view of Alama Iqbal, India is a continent of human groups belonging to different races, speaking different languages and professing different religions, even the Hindus do not form a homogeneous group. The Communal groups The Muslims' demand for the creation of a Muslim India within India is, therefore, perfectly justified according to Quaid e Azam. We maintain and hold that Muslims and Hindus are two major nations by any definition or test of a nation. We are a nation of a hundred million, and what is more, we are a nation with our own distinct culture and civilization, language and literature, art and architecture, names, nad nomenclature sense of values and proportion it is the theory that the Hindus and Muslims are two different nations because each of them has a Hindi-Urdu controversy, 
1867, Hindi-Urdu controversy became the focus of nation attention in 1867 when some Hindus of Banaras tried to replace Urdu with Hindi as the court language. Sir Syed Ahmed was disappointed at the anti-Muslim attitude of Hindus. War of Independence, 1857, the Muslim of the subcontinent fought a war of independence in 1857 to overthrow the British Raj. However, this war could not succeed because it lacked competent leadership, coordination troops, military and financial resources and modern weapons. After the war, the British held the Muslim responsible for this catastrophe and unleashed a wave of oppression and repression on them. Dioband movement Dioband movement was a socio-religious movement of Indian in the later half of the 19th century. It was started by Maulana Maud Qasim Nanatvi in 1866. It aimed at educating the Muslims in purely religious subjects by keeping English out of its syllabus. It laid st Ulama S22 points the government of Pakistan convened a convention of ulama from 21 Ulama S22 points the government of Pakistan convened a convention of ulama from 21-24th January 1951 at Karachi. The convention was attended by 31 Muslim religious scholars belonging to all sects od Islam. The ulama agreed on 22 points establishment of Pakistan, initial problems and events. 1. Demarcation of boundaries, Radcliffe S Award 2. Congress Reaction 3 Uprooting of Muslim in Punjab 4 Refugees Problem and Their Resettlement 5 Division of Armed Forces and Military Assets 6 Division of Financial Assets 7 Canal Water Dispute 8 Accession of Princely States, Junagar Kashmir and Hyderabad 9 Economic Problems and Political Problems 10 Constitutional Problem 11 Death of Quaid -e Azam 6 points of Mujadur Rahman In February 1966, Sheikh Mujib the leader of Awami League announced his six points, which demanded maximum autonomy for East Pakistan. Later on, these points became the basis for the separation movement by Bengalis. Liaquat Nehru Pact Liaquat Ali Khan and Nehru signed a pact on April 8, 1950 in Delhi. According to this agreement, both the countries agreed to protect the rights of their minorities and undertook to stop propaganda against each other. WWW Simla Accord The 1971 Indo-Pak was ABD The insurgency of Bengalis resulted in the separation of East Pakistan. The way brought in its wake many issue which included the release of POWs, trial of selected POWs, return of Baharis to Pakistan and recognition of Bangladesh. In July 1972, Z.A. Bhutto and Indira Gandhi signed an accord in Simla which is historically known as Simla Accord Nadvatul Ulama, Lucknow in 1894, Nadvatu Ulama, Lucknow was founded by Maulana Abdul Ghafur and Maulana Shibli Nomani. Nadva aimed at reforming Muslim society by imparting both ecclesiastical and secular knowledge to for detail underscore 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 under